Welcome back to the channel guys. We are sitting inside of the Lux 48 FB toy hauler. I can never get these things correctly. I'm so sorry. But nevertheless, I can't wait to show you guys around this thing. This thing is amazing. I have Aaron from Lux. He's their marketing manager. Yeah, marketing lady, fireball, whatever you'd like. There it is. Same thing. Um, we are in the 48 FB toy hauler. This is our largest actually our largest coach altogether but it is technically our largest toy hauler how big is it it is 48 feet 48 feet yes <laughs> yes wow with a 16 9 garage and we'll go in there in a minute um but i want to talk about this living space here versus the 47 that justin and i were in a little bit ago you can see the decor is different it's this is our brazilian the living space is set up differently and it's not a bad different we've got lots of space over here we've got our dishwasher we've got our sink single bowl but we can do a double and we have a 30 inch residential oh. stove <laughs> so this is bigger than one that this is the bigger and then in the one and the other yes the <laughs> that other, was big that was a 24 this is a 30 five burner wow. <laughs> so again um full-time use you don't have to have the 30 inch you can do the 24 or you can even do the insignia cook stove top just that uh, it'll still come with a convection oven okay um, and like we mentioned last time, all real hardwood dovetail joints, their beautiful craftsmanship. All of our stuff is built right here. Um, something else I like to point out that I didn't in the last time is this little dot right here is not um, a mistake in the countertop. That is a wireless charger. And anything that you get solid surface, if you want to do solid surface nightstands, if you want to do a solid surface desk somewhere, um, they can add this to your countertop, which is really nice and handy, especially if you do nightstands with that. I'm still locked in on the fact that this has a residential, true residential cooktop and oven. So you can cook Thanksgiving dinner right in here. And I don't know if you caught it, this does have a dishwasher. This is through Fisher and Pecal. I don't know how to say that, but yeah, you have a dishwasher inside of your RV. Never seen that before. So something I didn't point out last time is our real tile backsplash. And we have many different options, but really great thing, another personalizable thing, is as long as you go by our dimensions and our measurements from our engineers, you could go into Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, and we'll put it in for you. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wow, and talk to me about these uh, walls really quickly. Oh yeah, I just touched one. No, yeah, <laughs> you just touched one. Those are, are that's a great way to put it because these are our soft touch walls. Yeah. Now on our toy haulers, the soft touch is an upgrade. Yep, if you want to press on in there, um, they are an upgrade for our toy haulers. They're standard on our Elite, but they're luxurious and home feeling, and they also add an extra layer to our three inch thick walls and um, improve with sound dampening for the whole fifth wheel. All right, so way up here on the other side here is our loft area um, storage, or if you'd like someone up there, there is a fantastic fan and able for TV and things like that. Wow. So right here is, if you open the bifold, stackable washer and dryer. Perfect location and for that too. And bathroom, yep. You have a half bath. <laughs> and then these are the solid doors. Solid, like said. solid core doors, yes. And again, if you don't like the glass, we can do regular panel as well. Wow. <laughs> Side patio, one of my favorite things. Um, it's in addition. Got your railing here, and just like the back patio, it is rated for 1,500 pounds, but you can have an outside entertainment center here, plenty of space to put out a table or just camping chairs and enjoy the great outdoors. Come on back. Um, the floor is the continued residential tile from the rest of the fifth wheel. Um, it definitely gives back here a more office or if you're gonna turn this into a guest room kind mm -hmm. of feel. Um, again, we have the back patio here, so you can have dual patios if you like. This right here, which was harder to see in the other floor plan, um, yes. is a toolbox. Okay. It's really deep, and I can't open it right now because of this. No, but, okay. um, really great storage space right there. If you want to scoop around, all of our real wood cabinetry right along here. And that's 15K AC in your two? Correct. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll climb up a little bit for you guys so you can see here. And the television is already up there too. Oh, 
they do provide the bigger box in the garage for you too. And one thing that they just added, soft close for the cabinets. You guys, you said you were doing it for the drawers originally? Drawers were always standard. Okay. Um, the cabinets are new for us this year. Awesome. Here we have the standard booth seating. Again, you can change it to the dinette um, solid surface we saw in the other floor plan. But the great thing about the booth seating is the really deep hardwood drawer. Yes. <laughs> we like to put space in absolutely wherever we can. Uh, another great personalization thing is um, this is an L shape that'll come out further and you can have storage underneath. You don't have to have this here. We've had people do theater seating. We've people had just do a love seat and a recliner. Totally up to you. We've got the big TV here, more storage, and again, the 5000 BTU fireplace. Now, if you look up, you do have the soft touch on the ceiling too. Now it is a different material, but it still has that same nice sound deadening that you would get on the walls here. I mean, that's probably good for the rain too, actually. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In the bathroom, we have our standard one piece fiberglass shower. Um, but if you notice, we have a different color decor. This is our beachfront. One of the great things is for each room in the toy hauler fifth wheel, you can change the color of your cabinetry if you like. Um, and then we have the rain glass shower door, which is gorgeous. It's a beautiful setup in there. Wow. All right, so this is a bit of a different bedroom setup than the 47 FB and there's a lot more space that you can kind of tell. Yes. Um, one thing is obviously the walk-in closet right here. It's not the wardrobe anymore. So you've got matching um, dressers on both sides. You've got a shoe rack and the hanging rod above. Awesome. Yep. I'm going to ask you a dumb question no. because I, I'm allowed to, right? What's up? <laughs> Can you put a TV in there if you wanted to? A TV in the closet? Yeah. I wouldn't see why not. That's what I love about Lux. They will do things <laughs> for you that make no sense because if you want to do it, they'll do it for you. <laughs> we'll do our best. That's they'll do, sure. Okay, yeah, they'll do their yeah. best. If you're going to another dealer or if you go to the dealer to order RV, it is what it is. Like mm -hmm. You can't pick certain things and that's what I like about Lux is you're going to pay a little bit more money, mm -hmm. but it's worth it because they sit with you through the whole process absolutely and they recommend that you stay two days at the factory at so least. you understand your rv absolutely it's the little things like that guys that make it that much better when you go to buy an rv so really quickly i just want to just take another quick walk through here uh, aaron did an amazing job showing me this rv guys one thing i will say is these cabinets are really really high end and this is what you would see in the house and notice too you don't see the hinges also so they kind of float up there as you did see this was a uh, AC unit 15k through the medic and the loft is actually a good size too I showed that to you guys earlier but look at how much storage you have um, I do like that this is high up too because if you do have a toy inside of here if you have drawers on the bottom it's really hard to get to them so Happy Jack system, everything just really just comes together inside of here too. Now let's just check what's behind here. So you do have a window and you can block it out. This is probably good so people can't look inside the garage and see what's in here. It's a good thing to have. And there's a small hallway through it this way. And as you guys saw this pretty nice size bathroom, it's a half bath. I like this, the small little accents they did on the switches. And you do have sensor lights inside of this area too for your wash and dryer. Let me open one of these up for you. So this is definitely decent size. And this is gonna be your dryer. And down below, it's gonna be for your washer. And these are the Splendid. Let's check out your fixtures too for your water. And when you walk out of the bathroom, you walk into your living room. Check out how big your refrigerator is. One thing I'm going to have in my next RV is a residential style and size refrigerator. This is huge when you're full timing. Even if I wasn't full timing, I still prefer to have this just because if you're cooking and you have people over, you have too much food, it's just easy to get everything in here. It's like you're at home. 
This has an ice maker too. And I do like the way this booth looks too. Something I would definitely want in mind, but I can't get over that. <laughs> that is huge for me. But you do have this pop-up countertop too. And you have a lot of space in here to really you know, entertain. You could even get a couple chairs that fold out and put it inside of here too. Aaron came back to kind of go over this in command system for you guys really quickly. Yep, so the in command system, um, we've got our lights, exterior, your interior security, the slides and awnings and things like that. Um, really cool features, they also have an app on your phone. And I often get asked about this exclamation part here at the end, it's an SOS system. So if anything is ever happening, I believe you hold it down and your lights will synchron and flash, oh, nice. hopefully alerting anyone else in the campground that you might need assistance. Hold on, I did not know that actually. I had that on my eyes. <laughs> I thought it was like um, a typo or something. No, no. <laughs> um, really cool thing about our climates is we are a true dual zone uh, climate. Mm -hmm. So we've got the kitchen and the bedroom. So something important about our fifth wheels and toy haulers is we don't run on a track. Okay. Everything has an individual heat run and vent of its own. Mm. So that is, um, that's why we like to call it a true dual zone. And again, with the um, garage, you'll have your own AC in there as well. Okay, good. So. No, that's good too. I guess that does, but is it a little bit more efficient? Is that, is that why you did that? It helps it keep true to a dual. Um, what I've experienced uh, in my in-laws camper is that it doesn't circulate at all mm. it doesn't circulate well so if I my mother-in-law's in the kitchen cooking and you know it's super yeah. hot and i'm trying to be in the back um and keeping it cool yeah. it's not really doing too much but if you wanted to close off the bedroom door and you wanted it my husband likes it super cold so <laughs> he could be in there you know freezing his little toes off and i could be comfortable in here and it truly would keep them divided i see so. gotcha. That's yeah. Stuff. yeah all righty so check out the full body paint on this one the black, orange, and white does look great. But as you guys can see, this one does have the more ride tray that slides out. This is something I've been really thinking about adding to mine because when you have a, some storage inside of here, it's really hard to get to in the center. So this pulling out does help that a lot. So definitely a good thing. This is an option, but it is available for you if you are looking to buy from Lux. And as you guys see, you do have that small little area here for any type of wiring that you need to look at and yeah this you can check out all of your HVAC too for the uh, furnace and check out how clean the wires are inside this, this rig too looks like your inverter is going to be on this side here and they do have some in command on the outside too all right, so these are the same tire and wheel setup you saw on the last one. So this is going to be 215, 75, 17 half tires. It's going to have over 4,000 pounds of capacity per tire, 16 ply. And you can get a Kelderin suspension system on these fifth wheels now. You heard that correct. You can get Kelderin for your fifth wheel. This one does have the disc brakes too, which does make life going down the road a lot better too. And this one has that spare tire set up out back here. And then check out your jack too. Outside speakers above. And they do provide LED lights under the awning too. And even on the outside, you cannot see inside of this coach too. So they did give you some covers for the windows too, which is nice to keep that sun out too. And you do have a deck out back. Oh, I do like the fact that they put rollers too on the bottom because sometimes you will bottom out so they've already provided that on this rig here led lights out back and you do still have a receiver hitch for an accessory out back they do provide the awning and a backup camera up top and they still give you a ladder to get up on the roof this is something too that really makes life easy so they do give you a reel and this is a power rail too for your power cord. Fuel station. And this is the area where you're gonna dump it. 
and most likely this is where the valves are going to be at. This is the back of your furnace, and then the second furnace. And this looks to be a tankless water heater too. Tankless water heater? Tankless water heater. And this is your wet bay? Yes, yeah, so something I didn't mention is all of our ports of water, the sinks and things like mm -hmm. that, have their own shutoff at each one of them. So this is the main, okay. but every sink, and um, whether it's the kitchen or the bathroom, uh -huh. it's gonna have their own shutoff. Wow. So you don't have to shut off all the water if you're just trying to look at something specific. That is a huge deal, because I did have a leak actually in one of my bathrooms then. Okay. It would have been nice to actually be able to do that yeah. and just still keep <laughs> running water through the other parts of the bathroom. Yep. Um, another great thing is we um, always prep our coaches for external solar. You can see the port right there. Okay. It's always fun. Like a battery trickler? Yeah. Okay. And then you guys do protect these too. Absolutely. Nice. And let's see, this is for your black tank. And the fresh fill, is that for the city water connection too? It, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Good stuff. Yep. So the fresh is a hundred gallon. Um, and I believe on the toy haulers, you can add a second one if you want. A second fresh water, 100 mm -hmm. gallon fresh water? Yes. I believe it's the toy haulers on the 44. I double check, but wow. um, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of water. So here are the numbers for this particular coach. So the gross fuel coy rating is going to be 25,999 pounds. It's going to have a gross ax weight rating at 8,000 per. And here are your tire specs, and all in cargo capacity for this one's gonna be 3,149 pounds. Last thing to mention, 40 pound liquid propane on each side. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching this video. I, uh, I did not expect to come here and do a video today. I was really just driving through to see if they would allow me to, but again, huge thanks to Lux. They make amazing coaches, amazing coaches. Like, I'm like in my head wondering if I can make it work for my truck and fifth wheel to get traded in to buy something like this because it's just, it's really next level stuff, guys. But on that note, thanks again for watching this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon.